Hi, my name is Caden, and I'm here with Erwin, and here are announcements. Thursday, May 11th, softball versus O'Gorman at O'Gorman. Pops concert here. Friday, May 12th, girls golfers in multiple schools at home. Track and field versus Kimball at Kimball. Softball versus Brandon Valley at Brandon Valley. Saturday, May 13th, MSD carrying closet pop-up here. Track and field ESD meet versus multiple schools at Brandon Valley. Have a good day. Welcome back to Fun Facts from Random Location. Today's random location is that I am at the lake. Uh, the first fun fact I have for you is that the lake was built in 1928 to serve as the city's water supply as a place of, of recreation. Uh, don't think it serves either of those purposes anymore. Uh, the second fun fact I have for you is that about 60% or a little more than that, residents of Lake Mitchell said they would not swim in it. Uh, I, I'd have to join uh, that over 60%. And uh, the last one fact I have for you is that the dredging on the lake would actually start within a year. Uh, it's going to be interesting seeing how that goes, but hopefully it helps the lake. Uh, that's all I got for you today. But I will be Hello everyone, I'm Zachary Keith and today I'm going to be talking about the biggest thing that is coming up. Mother's Day, where everyone appreciates their mother. So they get a nice stuff. Now if you're running out of ideas, I could possibly help you out with that. Say so you want to get her something really nice. Now just think, maybe since you've been living in her house for quite a while, maybe you should start paying some rent money so you can live there. Get her some flowers, maybe get her um, some, uh, maybe the perfume that she likes, or chocolates, or, you know, just like take her to one of the move, one of her favorite movies that she's been wanting to see, you know? Some nice, you know, some that shows that you care about what she's done for your life and in your life. You know, just something nice because every mother deserves a day where they want to feel appreciated for what they have done and what they have given you. What animal would you be and why? Um, probably a cat because um, they're really lazy and get a lot of attention. What animal would you be and why? Uh, probably a cat because I get to sleep all day. What animal would you be and why? I would be a cat because you get to sleep a bunch and your fur is nice and you get attention when you want it. Yeah. And you can eat whenever you want. What animal would you be and why? Um, I would probably be a cat because they just sleep and they're lazy and I'm lazy. My favorite memory from high school was the senior tailgating before the homecoming football game and making and creating new friendships with people throughout my four years of high school. Something I'll never forget during high school is winning my two state titles in wrestling. Someone I appreciate is my parents because they always support me and they're always there for me. The one thing I'm excited for in my future is being able to experience new things and that helping me grow as a new person. Um, I appreciate Miss Smith because I learn a lot about English. In her I appreciate class. Mr. Musser. He is the best SRB teacher. Um. I appreciate Steve Morgan because he's good at teaching history. I appreciate Mr. Bergen because he's just a nice guy. He's down to earth. I appreciate Mr. McGraw because he's funny. I appreciate Mr. Kreitzfeldt because he um, always helps when needed. Hello, I'm Andrew Mitchell, and I'm here with our Mitchell High School counselor, Ms. Felks. What inspired you to become a counselor here at Mitchell High School? I have been a school counselor for years, and I've worked at the elementary, middle school, and high school levels, and I found that high school was my favoritest of any of them. I love working with high school kids, getting them ready to go off to school when they're done, or helping them with coursework, or those sorts of things. It's just the best environment ever. What club do you advise? I'm the advisor for the Spoofed organization, and what my students do is they put together skits dealing with issues that are facing today's youth. I have a tremendous group of individuals that do a phenomenal job 
with going out to audiences and performing their skits just to get conversations going. What is your favorite thing about Mitchell High School? The kids. <laughs> the kids, without question, my most favorite part, and seeing them succeed. Yep.